Rising shielding gas prices are a significant cost. One of the major industrial gas producers raised prices twice in less than a year. Argon increased a total of 38% and helium 30% in just one increase. Argon is less than 1% of the air and can only be economically extracted when the other 99% is sold as oxygen and nitrogen. There is so little helium in the air it cannot be extracted. It only comes from a limited number of natural gas sources. Both gases are in limited supply and expect price increases to continue. However, you can cut the amount of shielding gas used in half by eliminating gas waste. We'll show you how and provide some examples. Two published articles state the average welder wastes over three times the shielding gas needed. One article defines one of the major causes, the gas blast at each MIG or TIG weld start. We have supplied many thousands of welders with our patented gas saver system. They not only saved money, they achieved improved weld start quality. Industrial fabricators as well as home shops have benefited from this low cost, simple patented system. This graph shows the gas flow at a MIG weld start in a pipe repair station. Gas flow in cubic feet per hour is on the vertical axis and time from the weld start in seconds on the horizontal axis. The welder using the system was aware that the gas blast at each weld start was causing internal weld porosity in his repair welds. Many welds could not pass the required ultrasonic examination test. Any flow rate over about 60 cubic feet per hour causes turbulent flow which pulls air into the shielding gas stream. This graph shows how our patented gas saver system with its small ID gas hose and peak flow limiting orifice compared with the normal system in this application. As soon as the gas saver system was installed the welder commented about the improved weld starts. After six months of use, the welder using the system commented that he wasn't encountering any internal weld porosity. It was a common problem before the gas saver system was installed. With the excess start gas reduced by 80%, they found they used about half the total shielding gas. The improved weld quality was even a larger cost benefit. The gas blast surge flow has been known to create weld start problems in gas waste for some time. However, past solutions such as simple orifices or low pressure devices mounted at the welder or wire feeder created other problems. These often frustrated welders and management. We'll show why these problems existed. One approach tried was installing a simple flow control orifice or in some cases a flow meter at the welder or wire feeder to eliminate gas surge. This graph shows how that starting flow compares with our gas saver system. The peak flow is much lower and the surge is essentially eliminated. However, there is insufficient extra gas available to purge the weld start area of air. It's just like starting in air. Welders see the problem and try to increase flow and attempt to compensate. They may try to drill out the small orifice. This only partially helps. They may even remove the device, frustrating management. An interesting problem occurs if an orifice is sized just to limit peak flow with flow set at the gas source, as we use with our gas saver system. If properly sized, we find that most are not and are still too small, it will help weld start quality, but the cause of the surge is still present. The excess gas is still stored in the gas delivery hose when welding stops. Most of the excess still exits and creates gas waste. It just takes longer to exit the gas delivery hose and is less obvious. Welders are happy, but management is frustrated since they save very little gas. Some manufacturers seeing the high pressure in the system causes the gas surge and waste 
have tried low pressure devices, but this defeats the reason high pressure was used from the time MIG and TIG processes were invented. It's called automatic flow compensation or compensated flow. We have other videos that discuss this phenomenon in detail. Low pressure devices cause the flow rate to vary as restrictions occur when welding. Welders are frustrated when flows reduce and will increase flow to compensate. When spatter and other restrictions are removed, they do not reduce the flow. Another problem also occurs if these devices are designed to mount at the wire feeder. There is insufficient start gas to purge the weld area and the reduced pressure does not provide what little extra gas is available quickly enough. We conducted flow tests with a low pressure gas guard and compared flow to a normal flow meter that operated at pressures needed to have automatic flow compensation. From this table you can see on the top line that with the standard flow meter, flow remained constant through the normal range of flow restrictions found in industry. With the same restrictions, a low pressure gas guard had flows varying from 37 to 16 CFH with no change in the settings. Of interest, the flow calibrated pressure gauge provided with the device read the starting 31 CFH for all tests. This gave a false impression that gas flow did not change. We have had some fabricators reluctant to try our gas saver system because they tried other so-called gas savers that just frustrated their welders and had to be removed. The following four companies installed the low pressure device we tested. One company reported removing 32 of these devices because of gas flow variations. Another solved the nagging porosity problem by removing the same model device. Another scrapped 50 gas guards because of unhappy welders. We have shown why flow variations and lack of starting purge gas made them rightfully unhappy. The last removed 70 of these systems after watching one of our videos and seeing that they were causing the flow problems they were observing. Once removed and replaced with conventional flow controls, their flow problems were resolved. Just how much gas can be saved with our patented gas saver system? These two examples provide actual data. A truck box manufacturer tested the gas saver system using two gas cylinders and welding a part they made by the thousands, doors. With their normal gas delivery hose, it took one full cylinder to weld 236 doors. Just installing the gas saver system with the same flow and weld settings, they welded 632 doors. This is a 63% savings. They bought systems for all their MIG welders. A manufacturer of exhaust systems conducted a black belt lean manufacturing study and tested six foot gas saver systems on all their weld joints. They found gas savings from 25 to over 40 percent depending on the joint tested. They purchased 126 systems for all their robot welders. 200 gas saver systems were purchased by two large fabricators, primarily for TIG welders. One is a leading industrial gas producer's fabrication shop making cryogenic tanks. The other, the leading airplane manufacturer. In addition to reducing helium, as well as argon gas waste, they both reported significantly improved weld performance. One reported much better starts with 75% less time required to wait before striking an arc. The other reported superior weld quality due to our gas saver system hose having significantly less permeation of moisture. This had been causing hydrogen porosity in critical aluminum welds. See our website netwelding.com for more details. In summary, unlike products tried in the past that often frustrated welders, our patented gas saver system is easy to install just replace the existing gas delivery hose from gas source to welder. It stores 80% less gas each time welding stops. The welder wire feeder end has a built-in peak flow limiting orifice. The system retains pressure so it quickly purges air in the weld start area and maintains automatic flow compensation of flow restrictions. It has no moving parts to wear or knobs to adjust. Welders set flow with their existing flow controls at the gas source. Welders appreciate the starting benefits. For more information about 
setting MIG and TIG shielding gas flow or our patented gas saver systems, visit netwelding.com. We also have another recently patented product that can lock flow settings on most U.S. made flow meters. With thousands of systems in use, our industrial customers have saved millions of dollars of wasted shielding gas while improving weld start quality. Thank you.